Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you've missed episodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8, I'll leave the playlist on the top right corner of the screen. Definitely make sure to check it out. And also, if you are enjoying the Deadman Mode series, make sure you give the video a like. It motivates me and it helps the video get out there. So with that being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy the progress video number 9. All right, I just woke up. There's some elements changes coming in in 28 minutes, but I think it's time to quest it up today. Um, if we look at my deposit box, all the items are in here safely. If we look at what do we lose, uh, Gmail, DCM, it's not too bad. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit of food and we're off. Uh, we're going to go off and the uh, quest. All right, the fastest quest in the game. You literally just speak to him twice and the quest is done. There it is, Doric's quest completed. I did that to get some mining levels very quickly. Here we go, the second quest about to be done. And after speaking to Kagmix, we can now actually finally train a Herblor, which is awesome. We are now level three Herblor, that's really good. Next quest on the list is the Knight Sword. The reason for this one is, well, very easy smithing levels because everything else to train smithing is just super expensive. And even with increased XP rates in Deadman mode, getting 29 smithing from level 1 is just really, really good. So that one is now done. All right, the first troll quest in the troll quest series, whatever, is done. Troll Stronghold is also done, very nice. Another one, this one is usually completed very early for that nice experience that it gives you. Uh, but there we go, Waterfall is done, just a couple more and we can go ahead and uh, do Desert Treasure, I guess. Then Herbler, we can now do Dig Site with no problem. <laughs> This shit, no joke, took me 15 minutes to get from 10 to 24 <laughs> mining. I cannot be fucked with this quest. And here we have it, Dick Sight. Oh, Dick Sight <laughs> is also completed. I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> Anyways, 30, well, whatever, 35, 35 mining, 20 herbler accomplished. If, if I don't sound very excited doing these quests, it's because I've done them like over 14 times, all of them, and I'm doing them again right now, and I just can't wait till I'm done with like all the questing that I want to do on this account, even though it's going to take me a while, because then I'll actually finally be able to do things that I really, really want to do. So, um, but yeah, this one is another one out of the way. I do need Temple of Ikov and Tourist Trap uh, to still complete. Here is 20 construction. We can now get our house to Polnivnich, so we don't need to run through the multi part of the Alkarid area. So it's a nice little safety measure I do when I'm about to do, you know, my desert treasure quest line. Um, also, another safety would be 70 agility. I won't be going for that because I just don't feel like doing agility right now. Uh, but that's what I would usually do in a dead mode tournament, for example. But for now, we're just going to speak to a state agent, get our house to Polnivnich, and that's going to be it for the construction. I do plan on getting to at least 50 and set all the portals in my house, perhaps for the next episode. Here we go. This one is super sketchy because in one point of the quest, you actually need to have, like, no food in your inventory at all. You need to have 20 limpurts. Nonetheless, this one's now completed. Pretty cool. Got some fletching levels. Very nice. And I only have to complete Tourist Trap. I always leave it to the end. I don't like that one at all. But I have to do it. And then we can uh, knock out the Desert Treasure. There we go. No complications at all. Should be finishing the quest right here. Speaking to Irina. And now if I speak to her again, I should be gaining some XP. We're gonna take Agility. Because why not? So one more in Agility. One more in Agility. There it is. And that quest is now finally completed as well. And I do think those are all the quests, pre-quests needed for... Yep, I have all the pre-quests done. Needed for um, Desert Treasure. So let's go ahead and knock that one out of the way as well. Okay, let's see. Please, first one. Wait. Ah, first one! <laughs> Wait! First one, dude. No joke. I got it. <laughs> Wait, what? That is not possible. That has never happened to me, actually. That's insane. Hey, there we go. Two minutes and we got it. Shadow Diamond, first diamond. Three more to go. There it is. Ice Diamond also obtained. Very nice. This one's one of the most annoying ones to get. Here we go. And the Blood Diamond is also unlocked. The last one is, you know, arguably the easiest to get. So uh, let's prepare for that. And uh, yeah, let's finish DT. Hopefully, no PKRs, but you never really know. Mm. 
Yay! No, man. Are you fucking kidding me, man? You are fucking kidding me, man. I swear to God. You are fucking kidding me. Okay, I'm I'm banking my gear. Oh, oh man, that took me way too long. There it is, DT done, 20k magic XP, and I won't be changing away from this because I think I'll do fire cape next. So let's just go straight to Varrock. Um, and uh, huh, that's pretty exciting actually. All right, um, let's go ahead and do fire cape, I guess. There we go. Now we just hope we don't instantly die. As soon as we see the fire cape, we teleport. Whew. There we go. Someone from my CC was in there. Hey, let's get it, dude. Hey, we did it, dude. <laughs> uh. Oh, man. I thought he was gonna attack me, dude, but he was from CC, he was also going for the fire cape. Oh, man. Anyways, there it is, man. The, 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 the cheese cape is unlocked on the account. Pretty happy with how things went. I took way too many brews, um, so I had to flick most of the caves and basically no player bonuses as well. But very, very happy with this cape. This is basically the cape we're gonna be using all the way till max melee stats. So, super happy. Uh, and I do think I have a beastle demons to kill. Uh, I'll be doing piety quest chain on a later date though, I'm totally not feeling it right now, I've been questing DT, then I've done uh, Jad today, so piety another day, but very happy, bank is looking booming, not really, but we're, we're gonna manage, and uh, yeah, let's gear up and get ready to slay. And here we have it, the gear, the gear, the dream gear for Slayer is basically unlocked, look at it, fully AFK proof, the, maybe like Prims and Berserker Ring that I could upgrade to, but... Hey, I'm loving it, man. I'm absolutely loving it. Oh, there we go, there we go. We got a strength level. Oh, there we go. 86 attack was also accomplished. Just chilling, AFKing at uh, Abyssal Demons while doing other things. I'm playing TFT at the moment, playing ranked. I'm currently bronze too, so it's not looking good. But uh, either way, 86, which is really nice. I'll probably just, I don't have pots, but I'll probably just like AFK this task till the end, I think. Wait, I fucking missed it. <laughs> oh shit. Well, fuck me. <clears throat> Damn, I heavy breathing, dude. Holy shit. Whew, okay, that wasn't that hard. But I have three left, dude. But I... Ah, oh, man, that's so annoying, actually. I've got three left. Do I greed for three or do I not greed for three? Loot from the first Abyssal Demon task is not that bad, actually. That's, that looks pretty cool. Um, And I also got a tier five, which is nice, but they're not really that useful at the moment, so... I mean, you can't really get anything from them uh, aside from like room pouch and then later on upgrade for the granite mall. Um, but hey, it's, uh, it's an emblem after all. Let's see what a new task is going to be. And then I'm actually probably going to go to bed. But pretty nice to train on shared because, well, you just get these levels every now and then and you just kind of focus on the one thing. Uh, but yeah, thank to the max mage, ma max main basically in that, uh, in that task. So that was kind of cool. Oh, and look at this, skull fights. But now, wait, I still don't have 50 quest. You are a trolling. I need one more quest point. I think it might be worth it for me to do one more quest point and the block Cal fights forever. Are you trolling? All right, well, I guess, uh, well, fuck. Well, since those Cal fights were a bit annoying and I don't want to do them, um, well, I decided to do the hardest quest in the game. So uh, yeah, let's finish it off here. Hey, there we have it. Let's help this man get a cake. There it is. And uh, we now have 50 quest points, meaning that I can now permanently block cow fights so I never get them assigned again, which is going to be huge. And here we go. Finally, the points will be, <laughs> I don't know if well sped, but but uh, block task. There you go. Confirm that. Okay, so we're on 174 points. We do want to get to that um, 
Slayer mask, but I'd need 400 for that. Oh man, how much is bigger and better? Let's look it up. Bigger and better. And there it is, bigger and better. 150. When I get the next milestone, I will do that. Oh, gargoyles. Very nice. Okay, here we go. The task is done. Just look at this beautiful looting bag. Every single time I finish this task, it's just amazing to see because that is 600k right there with 100k right here and probably over like 100k here as well. So really, really decent task. Also got me a lot of experience, nearly 82 defense. Just an amazing task. I Probably my favorite one right now, Gargoyles and uh, Abyssal Demons, I guess, are pretty chill as well. So very happy with it. And I think this is a very nice place to end the video today. Got a lot of things done. Desert Treasure completed. Um, Jed done. So we have Fire Cape. We got all the gear that we wanted to do. And then in the next episode, I have some spicy things planned as well. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed, once again, a reminder to like the video because it helps me out big time. And check one of the four videos on the screen right now if you want to watch more stuff from me. With that being said, I really appreciate you for watching the video. And I'll be seeing you again very soon with another upload. Have a beautiful day and bye-bye.